Oilize is down here today bringing you our lovely video on how to prove the power roof from Calculus 1. So there are a variety of ways of how to prove it but in this video what we're going to look at is the easiest and quickest way to prove it. But before we jump into it I want you to leave a like and subscribe and let's get right into it then. So the first step that you are going to have to do is you are going to let y is equal to x to the power of n. So we are essentially trying to create an equation which we can work with right. So at this point what you are going to do is then apply ln to both sides of this equation on the left hand side and right hand side right and the reason for it is we want to move this n term as a multiplication and once we have done that using the laws of logarithmic we can have an, exp an equation that looks like this at this point what you are going to have to do is take a derivative of both sides of this equation on the left hand side and right hand side respectively notice n over here is a scalar quantity so we can move it outside the derivative so really what we're looking at over here is taking just the derivative a ln of x which is pretty straightforward it's just equal to one divided by x on the left hand side we got a function within a function we're taking the derivative of a function within a function therefore you know it's slightly more difficult and you are going to have to apply a chain rule so once you apply the chain rule this is what you are going to have an equation that looks like this at this point what you are going to have to do is we want to isolate for this term right over here the derivative of y and to do so we're going to apply what a multiplication to both sides of this equation and we're going to multiply this by y so we can eliminate this on the left hand side and once you have done that, you're going to rewrite the equation as follows on your screen. 1 divided by x could be rewritten as x to the power of negative 1. We are then going to replace y is equal to x to the power of n. Basically, this comes from our original equation, which we stated from the beginning, right? And once you have done that, we, we have an expression that looks like this, an equation that looks like this. And there's only one step remaining is we got x to the power of n multiply by x to the power of negative 1. This could be rewritten as one single exponent and to the way we do it is using the laws of exponents so it's going to be rewritten as x to the power of n minus 1 ultimately proving the power rule from calculus 1. So if you enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you a lot later.